Hi there again from Camp Tamid. We're out here working on a roof for our sawmill so we can protect it from the weather and protect ourselves when we're working. And what we wanted to do here was put some large beams. Let's have a look at that. That's the 29 foot beam I got from a salvage project. And I got three of them actually. And so we're gonna put one up here. This one's gotta go about 12 feet. As you see, we've already got one up. And um, we've got a video on that too. A, what do you call it? Time-lapse. Time-lapse video. So it sped it up and showed how we're gonna do that. And we're gonna make another one for the front to put this other beam because all we've got is a tractor, a 50 horsepower tractor, can't get up that high. So we did some experimenting here. Worked really well. Anytime I'm doing a job, I will always pray that the grand architect gives me a hand because he knows how to do it safely. So that's how I come up with these ideas. So the other thing that I've learned over the years is there's um, a thing called a transit. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those. They're electronic device now, pretty fancy and they get you levels and they cost anywhere from a good one, $1,500 and upwards, depending on what you want. But here's a $30 transit that I bought the other day, old school. Just gonna share it in case you're trying to get level on something. I wanna make sure these two beams are the right length. I didn't have a way to level it till I got this. So now I'm gonna do it before I put the beam up. And so what you do is, um, We've got a, a clear water line that I picked up at the hardware store. And uh, it's just a very flexible hose. Fill it up with water and water always finds its level. So whatever the level is over here, I'll get it to about here. And then it'll fill up on the other side and it'll be it'll, that wherever it fills over there will be exactly the same level as here. So then I'll just measure up to the top and make sure I have the same distance. And away we go. So we're going to do this just to show you in case you haven't seen this before. It's an old trick. Many people are aware of this, but we thought we'd show you how it works. I probably going to get wet here. <laughs> I'll wait till it's coming steady out the other side. There it is. Okay, there we go. And Judy, if you can come in on this, you'll see it's, when that stops, that side will stop as well. And you'll see that. We gotta wait till it stops because it's flowing, it's going back and forth. And it has pretty much stopped there. Okay, and go over here and have a look at that. Looks like our water is right there by that strap. So that's where we're at. So we're gonna measure pretty close nine feet there from our water line. And I'm hoping it's nine feet over here. Otherwise I gotta get up with a chainsaw and cut off. Oh boy, I'm two inches out. I've got to cut two inches off. Oh boy, okay. So uh, there we go. So that's what I did. I found out that I wasn't quite level. So I'm going to have to cut two inches off. That one was nine feet down to there. This one's nine feet to here. So it looks like that one is a little bit taller. So I'll cut that off. Talk to you later. We'll let you know how the progress goes. <laughs> 